plastic bags was found in uh, 2014 and why? Uh, if you look at plastic bags, it's very easy to get. But when you get it, what is the next what is the next thing? That's the question, that's the big question that we have as many well as we can. And we look at plastic and we definitely study about the disadvantage of plastic and the disaster that plastic can make. One, it can destroy the soil, it can destroy our environment, it can destroy the climate, and also even the farmers it affected them because when they are doing their farming, you know, any crop that grew and it penetrated, in, and it penetrated a plastic bag, that, that crop is going to die. So you look at the, the communities that we are working with, you know, their banking is more of buying goods and breed them. And then during the dry season, the, the, the animals, they get so hungry because there is no grass to eat. So whatever they come across, they will eat it. And when they eat plastic bag, they will die. So these are, all the th these are all things that we looked at, and it really motivated us to start one plastic bag. And we think about solutions, and then we look at this post, it's very beautiful. And this is how can we save the plastic that is roaming around. So grab the plastic bag and weave them. The women, they will weave them as a beautiful post like this. And they can keep their documents inside, they can keep money inside which is very beautiful. And at the same time, it's an income source for them. So using this uh, approach is really helping the women to, and the kids, even though at school level, to focus and do waste collection and then turn them into products. So if you want to know more about what we are doing, you go to uh, oneplasticbag.com you will definitely find out all the activities and why we did it and this, the, 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 the impact that it did to the communities. Because even though the women, when they make these purses and sell them, they have some money. And what we did is they have a small banking that they have within the center where they will save some money. And the reason why they're saving that money is because we want to have more women leaders within the communities and the country as a whole. So they keep these small monies and then make sure that they are guy child, they go to school to finish. Yeah, uh, we still work on the one plastic bag, so let's look at the outcomes of the project itself. Uh, if you look at uh, the one plastic bag project, it really connected people. It really bring people together. And then the best part of it is the women that we are working with and the youths and the community at large, they now have understanding of the side effects of plastic. And they're always thinking about how can they find solution for it, which is a big impact. Uh, because right now, the women, they know that plastic bag is causing a lot of problems. Before, they were using plastic bag when they are cooking to light fires. But because of the understanding and the trainings that they go on, they understand that plastic bag is unburnable. So when you burn plastic, you make disaster to the whole community. And the women, when they are cooking, they carry their children, and it can give them a disease that is not easy to cure. Or if it, even though we can say that the disease that plastic burning can give you, no one can cure it. But before they understand that, all their monies will be ruined. At the end of the day, they will go bankrupt and then the disease will not be cured. But right now, they understand that, which is a big impact. And it brings women together. They come together and work as a team, and they believe that working together as a team is very powerful. Because in any development, you know, without working together as a team, it might happen, but it will take a lot of time. And also, they understand that in development, if we are looking towards sustainability, we cannot do it in the absence of the, the youths. And then we are working with youths so that all the ideas that we have, we transfer to them so that it will be a sustainable development and future impact to all of us and then uh, it helps. So we involved, we put together women, youths and communities together. They work together, they respect each other. They believe on unity, which is really a big impact to, to the communities. And also the women, they know all the problems that is around plastic bag. And what they are trying to do now is to see how best they can avoid it. 
if they cannot co uh, completely stop using it, but they will be very careful of using it and they always find alternatives. That is why they have, they try to create making like fabric bags, distribute them, using them for marketing. When they are going to the market, they always use one pocket to go to the market instead of using plastic. Because before the project, every day when the women go to the market, they buy one plastic and put their products, their food into it and bring it home, you know, on, offload it and throw it every day, every day. So it even ruined their economic. Because if you look at every day, five plastic or ten plastic, you times it by the amount of money, and every month how you are going to use it, it's a lot of money that you are wasting. So these are all things that come as an impact to the project, which is really helping the communities and the youths. And then you look at the nature of the agricultural system in the Gambia today, and the income sources in the Gambia is getting low every year. Because the farmers, their yield is getting down every year. Every year it's, it's cut like down and down and down. And then you look at the environmental situation. Our forest is very light because, because of the, 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 the small yield that the communities are having today. That's, you know, warrant them to use the forest as a focus of income sources. They use the forest to cut trees for roofing, they use the forest to cut trees to make charcoal, they use the forest to cut trees to make firewood. All these, you know, activities that is taking place, it's really ruining the income sources of uh, the country. And then the land, if you look at the situation of the land, we have a lot of problem damages around it. So I think it's the right time for us now to think big and then think wise to see how best we can make a future plan. Uh, you know, making that future plan will going to drive us to make sure that we include the, the youths about the plans that we are making so that they will be start acting as the future leaders. Then we work together for future development, future sustainable development in the Gambia because it's high time for us to start. If we don't start right now, we will lose it forever.